Welcome back to art. Last week you learned all about the famous artist Vincent van Gogh and his sunflowers. Today we're going to be starting a new project. It's going to be a step-by-step -step project. Um, we're going to be painting some sunflowers similar to what Vincent van Gogh did and I will show you how to get started today. You're going to be needing a white sheet of paper, a pencil, and something circular to trace. So if you need to pause the video right now and going to go to find those things, go ahead and do that. Once you have all your materials, the first step is we're going to be starting to make the inside of the sunflowers. So I'm going to make a couple sunflowers toward, I would say, the top half of my paper and the bottom section is going to be for the vase. So I'm going to space out these circles so I'm going to hold it with one hand and trace all the way around it to make my circles. And space out your circles because we need to have room for the petals that go all the way around the inside of, or all the way around the outside of the flower. Some can be smaller, some using the inside, and some larger. But you can go ahead and space your circles out. So go ahead and pause the video if you need extra time to finish. The next step is to make the vase or the flower pot and that's going to be towards the bottom of your paper. The easiest way to do this is to make a big U and then you can go ahead and connect those two lines with a nice curve, slightly curved line. And then what I want you to do is to decorate your vase any way that you would like, I'm going to be using all different types of lines to decorate my vase. And once you're done with that step, you're going to draw your stems. Now your stems can be curved straight, they can be like some flowers can be leaning over. So take some time, go ahead and draw on your stems. Then the last step for today is going to be your leaves. So your leaf shape, a simple leaf shape, is to draw a curve in one direction and then a curve in the other direction, kind of like a football shape. And then you can go ahead and fill in the veins of the leaf if you would like. And you're going to fill up your stems with as many leaves as you want. Next time you guys have art, we are going to be filling in the sunflower seeds, which are going to be in the center, center of our sunflowers. And for that, you're going to be needing brown paint. And I use a Q-tip to make these perfect circles, which I will show you how to do next time. 
If you don't have brown paint, you can always use markers. So I will see you guys next week.